Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use digital clock in your Android app. So first thing, create one empty Android app here and you will have a screen like this. Now go to into text view of activity underscore main dot XML. Here we are going to point to digital clock. You can also use text clock okay so you can wrap the content to width and height then you have your android id and so let's say at the rate plus id let's name it clock one and then you can also specify any other specific parameters in your XML file and then you have a placement right here to display the time okay now inside your main activity dot Java just make sure that you add reference to text clock and name it clock equals to text clock then find view by id just name it r id and then clock one that's it so once that instance gets visible you will be able to see your clock in action right here okay you can also add other parameters such as let's say if i want to see this in center so i can see android layout center in parent set it to true and it will go to the center like this okay you can then use text view above this and say whatever the time it is okay so your question will be why to display time inside app when you already have at the top so there are some use cases for example if you are creating app that compares time between different time zones in such case you can make use of this text clock and then display time in various time zones so for that you can use this example to build the base for your such apps okay so let's open emulator and test our current code so let's execute by selecting the deployment target click on ok and you can wait till emulator shows up now as you can see the app is now running and it should show me the view for my current text clock inside the app time is displayed at the center of my app so that goes to show you that the text clock property works for displaying your digital clock in text format you can now use this any way you want for your code